In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to make $2,500 using Udemy. If you ain't beefing about the money, then what's the problem? What is up guys, Paul James here. Welcome back to the channel today. So I'm really excited for today's video because this video comes by a request by you guys. I've been looking at the comments and seeing a lot of comments coming in asking how to market yourself on Udemy. So I wanna share with you today the specifics of how I've been able to do that and what it's been able to do for me and I'm gonna kind of go through the results and share with you everything and then share with you behind the scenes on how I did it. So if you're excited to learn about this, do me a favor and smash the like button for me and if you're new to the channel and you've never been here before, again, my name is Paul James. This is the place where we talk about step-by-step -step tutorials, entrepreneurship, motivation, and just making money, starting businesses, all of that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that interests you, you should drop below the video right now. You should hit the subscribe button and if you want, you can drop below the video after you subscribe and comment on it saying I've subscribed and I will go back through, I will read your comment, I will reply to it because I am so happy that you're here with us today. Yo guys, so I wanted to let you know I actually got my computer set up for streaming. I still need to like move around the desk and I'm getting a bigger desk because right now I've got that monitor on a stool. But anyways, it works for now. I've got my mic set up there, got the computer set up and everything is good to go. I'm gonna be starting to stream Fortnite actually over on my Twitch channel. I'm probably not gonna do it on YouTube, but I'm gonna do it on Twitch. So if you're into Fortnite or you wanna just like come and interact with me, I'll be answering questions in between matches or, you know, while I'm not in combat, I will answer questions related to marketing or business or anything like that. But yeah, it'd be cool if you want to go follow me on Twitch. I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description. I'll also pop it on the screen right now. I believe it's twitch.tv forward slash I am Paul James and that should take you to my Twitch channel. Um, but I'll leave the exact link either on the screen or in the description below. But anyways, I just thought I'd share with you that I've got this streaming set up all good to go and we're ready to rock and roll with it. All right guys, so you asked for this video. A lot of people were commenting about it. They wanted to learn how to market themselves on Udemy and grow an audience, make some money. So I wanted to share with you my strategies for Udemy. Now, I don't do a whole lot on the platform. I'm gonna show you what I have done and I've gotten some pretty good results, but there are people out there like my friend John, for instance, who have made like an entire living out of doing this for several years. And it is a really good platform if you wanna you know, go out there and do stuff. But for me, um, I'm doing stuff on my own platforms, but if you don't have like an audience and you want an easy way to build an audience, Udemy might be a good fit for you. So I'll kind of go over exactly what the marketing strategies are and how you can leverage Udemy's platform to actually grow a pretty nice business for yourself if that's what you're looking to do. Okay, so I'm on the Udemy homepage here. I'm gonna go and hop over to actually my course on Udemy here and it's uh, my reputation management course. Now you can see here that I've put this up in 2014. I've got over 2,500 students enrolled and other than the initial setup, I really don't market this course anymore. I'm gonna show you how I'm driving traffic to it. I'm gonna show you what I did to market it. Um, but I mean, it's not bad. You can see here my course sells for $200, but Udemy does these discount deals once in a while where they'll run your course, like this one, they're doing 94% off and they're running the course for $11.99. So, I mean, they do stuff like that, which is one of the reasons why I don't always like Udemy for launching courses. But if you don't have a customer base yet, like I've already got a substantial customer base, right? So it makes sense for me to launch on my own. But if you're just starting off and you don't have one or you just want to stay on Udemy because you like it, then, you know, that's a good place to start or stay even. It just is a matter of what you want to do with your business. Okay, but I'm going to share with you how I managed to do this and some of the tips and tricks that were able to allow me to kind of get this course going and uh, get the ball rolling with it. So one of the first things that I think is pretty important is actually picking out a topic that is not super saturated or where you can add in something and do a little bit better than what everyone else is doing. So when I decided to go after the reputation management thing, it was because there wasn't a huge market or demographic already in existence. So if you go and look at my listing now, you can see my course is the highest rated course in reputation management. So um, that's partially because I did a really good job of selecting the categories. 
um, to make sure. So you can see here's another one of someone who's got the highest rated course in Facebook marketing. Or here's another one, the highest rated course in Shopify. Um, best seller in Shopify. So you can get these little tags on your course, which is going to help drive and boost sales. But it's a matter of finding a market that isn't saturated. So maybe you're going to teach a course on Photoshop. We could come in here and start typing in Photoshop. We could look at the recommendation of things that pop up here um, for you know different uh, searches that people are actually doing. So these drop downs are what people have actually searched for in the past. So if I type in um, Photoshop web design, I can actually come in here and look if there's been a lot of courses on web design and Photoshop. So I see this one master web design in Photoshop. So that's very, um, keyword targeted to exactly what this search is about. And there's quite a, there's quite a few of them. So I could go in here and I could kind of see what's going on and kind of make a decision based off of that. But don't think of Udemy as just like a place to do technical stuff. Like if you come under the lifestyle section, I mean, people have pet care and training, gaming, travel. I'll just click on travel once how to get paid to travel. So maybe I could come up with an idea like how to get cheap flights or something like that. Okay. And I really don't see anything about that. How to get free, how to get cheap flights. Here's one that says, uh, travel hacking, um, cheap travel, but not really cheap flights. So I could come in here and I could create a course about how to get cheap flights. And that's going to put myself in a good position to be entering a market now where really no one else has done it. And it's, it's fine if you're entering something where there are other people who've done it, but if you can find something where it's only a few people or a handful of people, that's obviously going to make things a lot easier for you. Okay. So that's number one is, is try and enter the market in a good position. So the next thing that I'd recommend you do is to start doing some keyword research. So my keyword research tool of choice is keywordseverywhere.com. So keywordseverywhere.com. It's free. You install a Chrome plugin. And then what's going to happen is when you go into Google and you do a Google search, it's going to put the search volume here underneath your keyword. So what you want to do is you want to start going and picking out keywords like how to remove bad reviews, how to remove bad reviews online. That gets 10. Remove bad reviews. That gets 170, right? So you're picking out different keywords. Now, one thing that I did for my course is I went and I tried to pick a long tail keyword first. Let me make this bigger so you can actually see this. So I went and I started with this long tail keyword, how to remove bad reviews online. Very specific. Then I shortened it down here, how to remove bad reviews. And then I shortened it again to remove bad reviews. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this allows me now to target three keywords essentially in one phrase, one long tail phrase. And Udemy is so powerful. It's got so much authority built up because of all of its marketing and backlinks and just the presence behind it, that it's a really good way to actually rank in Google, believe it or not. So what you can actually do is you can start optimizing your Udemy course for your keywords. So go and research some keywords like remove bad reviews. We said had 170 a month, I think. Uh, this one had 70 a month. This one had 10 a month. You start adding this up. Now we're already up like 300 almost for monthly search volume. That's going to be driving a lot of traffic. So let's go and look at how I actually rank for these keywords. So let's start with um, how to remove bad reviews online. So if we go down, I am ranked under the ads. These are ads. So ignore those. One, two, three. I am ranked number three for how to remove bad reviews online. So that was the long tail version of it. So let's shorten it up a little bit more and see what I'm ranking for for the next one. How to remove bad reviews. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm number nine for that one. So not as good for that one, um, but that's okay. Let's check out the next one, remove bad reviews. So remove bad reviews, probably like one of the best ones that you could go for in this industry. One, two, three, I'm number three. And I've held this ranking now guys for a really long time. And maybe I won't after making this video because maybe someone else will go out there and try and compete with me. I really don't care. 
um, because I'd rather be able to show this to you guys so that you guys can learn something. Um, But here it is, right? Remove bad reviews. Um, But number three on that one. So pretty good. That is uh, really the goal because being able to rank in Google like that for multiple keywords is going to allow you to continually drive traffic which means you're making course sales, which means you're making money. All right, so now that we talked about the strategy, we talked about picking out keywords, let's talk about how to optimize your Udemy course so that you can get ranking in Google and actually get traffic flowing to it like I've done. All right, so I'm gonna start under the course landing page. So first off, look what I've got here. In my course title, how to remove bad reviews online. That's my long tail keyword, which encapsulates all of my keywords. And it's right in the title. It's got all of them in there. Um, Look at the course subtitle. You want to be careful because you don't want to you don't want to keyword stuff too much. So here I did remove bad reviews. I've got how right here and then I've got online over here. So I've got almost all of them in there, but it did it in a way where it wasn't really keyword stuffing. Um, Down here in the course description, I've got a nice solid, I don't know, probably 400 words, three to 400 words here. But check it out, I've got bad reviews online and I bolded it. Bolding and italicizing and underlining is great if you can use different styling tags. And I did that here, I bolded bad reviews online. Um, I've got online here again. There's another online here. Uh, Right here, fixing your bad reviews. That's just kind of another way to say remove bad reviews. So that's important to kind of use different phrasing. Uh, Here's another one, fixing your bad reviews more bad reviews, hide your bad reviews. Um, And then down here, I did this several times. I put online reputation in. And then I did select reputation management for my topic. So that's my course landing page. And you can kind of see how I went in there and how I optimized it for my keywords. The most important thing though, honestly, is the course title and the first line of the description. If you can nail those two things, you're gonna be in good shape. Let's look at the target student because this is also going to show up on your landing page. So I actually strategically placed keywords in this section as well. So this section is really meant, you could see here, the descriptions you write here will help students decide if your course is one for them. So it's really, you're, you're kind of setting it the stage and letting them know like what experience or background they should have before joining your course. But I went and did something strategically here. While I still did that, I went and I put keywords in here. So check it out. Identify where your bad reviews are located online. So I did that down here. This course is meant for business owners who have been affected by bad reviews online. And then I put reputation in there. Um, I did it right here as well. Bad reviews, bad reputation, online reputation, improve online reputation, hide bad reviews. So you could kind of see what I did there. I took this section that was meant for identifying my target students. And I still did that because you want to make sure you still do that or Udemy won't approve your course. But I was very strategic about it and I made sure to place keywords in there. And that's how I was able to obtain those rankings. So these are some tips, guys, that you can use if you want to go on Udemy and you want to either market your existing course or you want to create a new course. This is how you can do it. And this is how you can drive free targeted traffic to your course. And there's a lot of other strategies that you can use as well, but this is like a free strategy that you can implement. And if you like this video and you want to see some of my other strategies, definitely let me know by commenting below and letting me know. And maybe I can do another video on some more strategies on Udemy. All right, guys. So there you have it. That is the video. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that it was helpful. I think it's always helpful when someone can show you behind the scenes of what they're actually doing, what's actually working so that you can go and you can kind of replicate it with your own stuff. So I hope that was helpful to you. Again, if you want to check me out on Twitch, I'll be live streaming over there probably a few times a week. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Definitely go follow me over there though if you're interested in that and it's a good chance to interact with me. I'll be streaming Fortnite and I'll put my Twitch handle on the screen and if you follow me, you should get alerted when I go live and maybe if it goes over well, maybe I'll come up with some kind of schedule so that it's on a consistent basis, but I'm just kind of testing it out for now. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe, turn that bell notification icon thingy to my bob on so that you get notified of all the new videos when I release them. But until next time, guys, I am Paul James. Peace out.